Hey, I'm Yasmin, and I'm going to talk to you about branching and adding a theme on Microsoft Forms. Branching allows you to create a dynamic survey with Microsoft Forms that changes based on the answers that are given to different questions. So we're going to start our branching based on the questions that we've created in the previous videos. So let's work from the top down. So just to add branching, you click on these three dots here, click add branching. So if I'm working from home and using Teams, I'm going to go to section two, working with Teams. And if I'm working from remotely and using other tools, I'm going to go straight to working with other tools. I also want to add some branching in section two. So as we made this question a required question, I need to add some branching here. So if the answer is no, or I don't know about support questions, I'm going to skip to how regularly was Teams used before. From section three, you and Teams, I also need to add some branching at the end. So in this section here, I'm going to go, I'm going to make the participant go right to the last question, last section about you, as they don't want to be forced to answer what they're working with other tools section. And that will do for branching. So to go back to the edit mode, you click back up here. So what all this will do is give our users a more streamlined experience because if they're using Teams already, they're just going to get the questions relevant to them. This is going to increase our response rates as the users likely be less likely to abandon the form. So now we have our almost complete form. We can make it slightly less boring by adding a theme. Themes we can use can change the, help change the color of the background from green to pink or to orange. We can also add an out-of-the-box octopus or a more relevant theme for working from home. Or we can customize the theme, clicking this down here. We can choose an image from Bing of a woman working from home. Or we can upload an image from our own computer. So I'm going to choose this image from our last team meeting on Teams. Once this uploads, the form will pick a color associated with the image they've chosen. So it's picked this nice gray color here, which is very handy. And it's as simple as that. Up next, I'll show you how to share and gather your sponsors from your form. Thanks for watching and feel free to check out our other videos and sign up to our newsletter.